How do I transfer Hotmail or Outlook.com contacts to another account? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. If you're not subscribed to my weekly newsletter, Confident Computing, head out to AskLeo.com slash newsletter. To sign up today. Weekly news, tips, tricks, answers in your inbox to give you more confidence with technology. So this is actually a fairly common scenario where you've got one account and you want to move the contacts associated with that account to another. Actually, Outlook.com makes this relatively easy. Let me show you how. So we're over here in Outlook.com. If you're using the old Outlook.com interface, they keep changing the interface, and you have the opportunity to switch to the new interface, I actually recommend it. It is more fully featured than the old interface and will allow you to do a few more things. In our case, well, you can see I don't have any email. This is my example account. Um, if we go over to people, people is what Microsoft refers to as your contacts in Outlook.com, your Hotmail contacts, whatever. And you can see I don't know many people. I only know myself. Again, this is an example account. Yours will likely have many, many more entries here. The thing to do here is actually quite simple. Over here where it says manage contacts over on the right hand side, We'll export contacts. We're going to export all of our contacts. And that has now been placed in contacts.csv in my downloads folder. Now, CSV files, comma separated values, are files that can be opened by spreadsheet programs. So if you wanted to, you could open this in Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice uh, calc, I think it is, um, and examine the contents, maybe even change the contents before you uploaded it elsewhere. However, we're not going to do that. That's an opportunity for you along the way. The thing to do then is on your new account, and I'm going to assume your new account is also an Outlook.com account, you would do the reverse. You would go again to Manage Contacts in the People app and import your contacts. You would browse to find your CSV file, open it, and hit import. Now, in my example, I didn't change accounts. All I did was export from this account and then import back into the same account. That's why you see a duplicate entry here. So, of course, the thing to do for me in my example here is to delete the duplicate entry. But if you are using a different account, a different Microsoft account that you're accessing via Outlook.com, this would be the way to import your contacts into that new account. Now, there's nothing that says this all has to happen only in Outlook.com. You can, if you like, use this same technique of exporting from one account and importing to another to export from an Outlook.com account and import it into a different one or conversely, export it from some other account and import it into Outlook.com. The only issue that I will warn you about is that different email programs store different information in their exports, which means that not all of the information may get transferred when you do this. The ideal scenario that we've just done from Outlook.com to Outlook.com of course, that's optimized to work. That should work just fine. But if you're going, say, from Gmail to Outlook.com or vice versa, then there may be some data loss. It is well worth saving that export file somewhere so that you could always refer to it for any information that didn't make the transition. Finally, one of the important takeaways from this technique is that this is how I recommend you back up your contacts, periodically export them. Regardless of what email program or interface you use, if you are act actively backing up your email, you may not be backing up your contacts. It's inconsistent across the many different programs that we might be using. So one of the things I recommend if you're using an online account like Outlook.com, periodically visit the People page and hit that Export button. Save the CSV file somewhere so that you have it should you ever need it. For comments, for updates, for links related to this topic and more, visit AskLeo.com slash 2174. 
I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is AskLeo.com. Thanks for watching.